Hi, all right. So we're here today, um, and this is our first Facebook Live that I'm doing with my show called After School Special. So, uh, with the title of today's talk is called "What Is Happening with Our School? Is It Bad Students, A Bad School, or Is It a Bad System?" Okay. So I'm going to start off with a quote from the book "Think and Grow Rich." Uh, it says, there are two kinds of knowledge. One is general and the other is specialized. General knowledge, no matter how great in quantity or variety, it is but of u little use in the accumulation of money. So, I'm going to start off with that quote right there. Um, and I was reading a blog post by this lady called Jessica Ferrali. She said, if, if, I were, if you were to ask me right out of high school, uh, what the Pythagorean theorem was, I could say within seconds that it was a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and it's defined the missing side of a right triangle. And she said, but if you were to ask me how to take out a loan or how to balance a checkbook, I would say I had no idea. And then if you keep reading her article, she goes on to, to quote two studies. One where they say 17 out of the 50 states that required for high school students to have financial education classes. And in another study, she talks about how 455 undergraduate and graduate students were surveyed, and only 51% of them, and 51% of them said they were barely keeping up financially. Now you got to think about what kind of society we live in. We live in a society where you could be saying that you're a broke college student, standing in line at Starbucks. Uh, waiting for your $7 latte while taking an Instagram photo of your Jordans and sending it on your smartphone. You know, that, that's the kind of society that we live in. Uh, with that said, um, our society is just uh, not really thinking critically when it comes to their finances. And, uh, and, and the question is, is this being done on purpose? Is this what we're being taught? Is this what we're being fed in the schools? Uh, that's the, the the question. All right. So now I don't mean to offend anybody, but I'm thinking about uh, why a lot of the students are rebelling in the schools and all these things that I'm, I'm seeing in the schools. And just thinking about these things, I just looked up the word, just happened to come to my mind. said, let me look up the word uh, slave and what it means. Right. So the word means it's a person who is legal property of another and is forced to obey them. Okay, now that's one that we're, that's one definition we're all familiar with. But then, if we keep reading, there's some real interesting definitions, right? Uh, especially given what we're talking about. It says a person who works very hard without proper appreciation. Okay, then it says a person who ex is excessively dependent upon or controlled by something. A device or a part of, of one directly controlled by another. It's an ant captured in its pupil state, okay, by another species for which it becomes a worker, okay. So the question is, are we what are we slaves to, okay? Uh, are we slaves to money? Are we slaves to buying things? Are we slaves to just having a lack of financial education that's not being taught to us in school. What, what's going on here, right? Uh, so I'm going to quote Robert Kiyosaki. He says, you know, uh, when you're not confident about your knowledge of money, you let others make your financial decisions for you. Uh, you let your broker decide how much money you should have invested. You let your bank decide on your interest rates. And you follow whatever is the popular trend at the time. Uh, the rich don't follow the crowds. They set the trends. And by the time the trends become mainstream, they're gone. So the question is, what is their secret? They think for themselves about the money that they make. And they make their own financial decisions. Because they have a high financial intelligence. Okay. Now I had a student call me up. And this student was a student that I taught for three years. And I was always dropping little nuggets here and there uh, when I was talking to the student. And he, he called me up. He called me up. And I hadn't spoken to him for a good while, actually, for like almost a year. And he said, he's now in boarding school, actually. 
So he had a similar experience to, to what I had when I was in boarding school. He said, hey, I was uh, talking to my friends and I was saying, hey, uh, I'm going to buy these headphones that cost like a lot of money. So he went to go buy these headphones and he, the, the kid he was talking to was actually rich. And the kid said, my parents would never let me buy that. So he started thinking really critically. He was like, um, he, this kid is rich, but his parents wouldn't let, let him buy this thing that I was about to go spend $300, $400 on these headphones. So he really was thinking about this, and he was saying that, you know, he, was, he called me up. He asked for my advice. I said, well, what do you think? And he said, well, rich people don't spend their money wildly. And I was like, well, that, that makes sense, right? Uh, and they say, yeah. So I had a similar experience when I was actually his same exact age. And, you know, jerseys were in style and everybody wanted an authentic jersey. And an authentic jersey at the time cost like $125. And I was going to get a Jason Kidd New York Nets jersey, New Jersey Nets jersey. And I was going to pay this $125 for an oversized jersey that I'm sure by now would be in the trash. So just thinking about that, uh, just knowing the truth that if you respect your money, your money is going to respect you. Uh, and that's, that's basically it. Um, that's really one of the things they don't teach us in school is being financially literate. Um, and that's probably why the, a lot of these students are rebelling they, they, or saying, oh, I'm about to go out and get this money. That's why we're getting a lot of this stuff going on in the schools. Uh, I'll end this with one last quote. A true financial education uh, would teach young people how to think critically for themselves about their money and about their investing. Um, if you got value from this, if, you, if any of this resonated with you, if you like what you saw, go ahead and like the post. Uh, thank you for watching. I see a couple people on. I really appreciate it.